Welcome to this training session on preparing time impact analysis for construction projects. In this session, I will walk you through a little bit of theory of time impact analysis, followed by step by step methods and a practical example from start to finish to make you understand. So, let's get started. Time impact analysis or TIA is a systematic method used to evaluate the effect of project delays on the schedule. It helps in quantifying the additional time that is required due to disruptions by inserting delay events into the baseline schedule and analyzing their impact. So you have to have baseline schedule of the project before you start the delay analysis and also the delay register where the project team would have recorded the delays since inception of the project. So these two things are the main tools to perform the time impact analysis. Let us discuss the steps of TIA. First one is identifying the delay event. Define what has caused the delay. For example, it can be a design change, a delay in approval or any force measure or anything else that you need to record in your delay register. The second thing is establishing the schedule before the delay. You need to use the last accepted baseline schedule as we have just discussed. The third point is to introduce the delay into the schedule. That is inserting the delay event logically into the program which we will see step by step with the help of a schedule. The fourth one is analyzing the effect on completion. Whether the project completion date is pushed forward and by how much time. The fifth and the last step but not the least is to validate and find the documents to establish your analysis. These documents may include the communications that you have made to the client, government gadgets, meteorological reports, etc., which will substantiate your time impact analysis and will form a solid base for the extension of time or claim submitted to the client. While including the delays in your schedule, you have to keep some points in your mind. The first is the delays can be of multiple types. It can be availability of drawing, front or sample approval or any other force majeure, etc. Only the external delays are to be included in impacted schedule because you are not going to get any extension of time for the delays which are attributable to your agency. Majorly, you will find two types of delay events while preparing an impacted schedule or doing the time impact analysis. The first one which affects the entire project at a time. For example, unavailability of work front for the entire project, cyclone, strike, etc. And the second type is which affects a particular task or a few tasks. For example, unavailability of a particular drawing, delay of sample approval, unavailability of a particular material like this. We have noted here five delay events of different types to show you the process of preparing the impacted schedule in detail. This is the schedule of construction of one story building and the project start date is 12 December 22 and the finish date is 3rd March 23. Now we have these delay events which have occurred within the project duration that is 12 December 22 to 4th February 23. Now we will insert these delay events one by one into this schedule. But before we do that, we need to set the baseline going to project, clicking to set baseline and again clicking to set baseline for the entire project, clicking on OK. So now the baseline for the schedule has been set. Now as a second step, we need to insert the column baseline start and baseline finish. This baseline start and baseline finish will show us the original start and finish date of the project and after we include the delay events in this schedule, the start and finish columns will show us impacted start and finish dates of the project. For the good practice, we will insert two more columns. One is say text one where we will mention the delay event numbers from the delay register and another column as text to where we will provide some remarks 
Now we can start including the delay fragments. What is a delay fragment? It is nothing but a task that we will insert within the schedule which was not the part of the original schedule and will represent one delay event. From the delay register we get that the first delay event is the delay in handing over of the work front for the entire project which started on 12 December 22 and finished on 27 December 22. The net delay for this delay event is 16 days. This is a delay event that is impacting the entire project at a time. For including this type of a delay, we will go to project and click on change working time. Insert this delay event as an exception. We will paste this and the start date will be given as 12 December to 27th December 22. Once you click on that, you will see that for six, these 16 days, the calendar is now showing an exception which is non-working. Let us click on OK and you will see change in the start and finish dates. The baseline start and baseline finish is representing the original start and finish date of the schedule whereas the start and finish date is now representing the impacted start and finish date of the schedule. So we can say that the first delay event is now included in the impacted schedule. The second delay event is the drawing received for columns. So this cannot impact the entire project at a time, but only particular activity of the column. So this is a task which will directly impact the foundation and columns, this task. So what we need to do is to insert a task by right clicking here, click insert task and insert the delay fragment here. Just simply copy the text from here and paste it here. Don't change the duration, don't change the baseline start or finish, just change the start and finish date. Here it is 29th December to 2nd January 23. So we will change the date to 29th December to 2nd January 23. MSP has calculated the duration as 5 days but there is an exclamation mark. It is asking you to confirm. Just type 5 and hit enter. This is the delay event 002 as per your delay register. Let us give a separate color for the delay event tasks which can isolate them for the other tasks. Let us give this color. Now your delay fragment has been inserted into your baseline schedule. Now you need to link it with the impacted tasks and the impacted task is the release of drawing of foundation and column. Now you need to link the impacted task which is the receipt of drawing of foundation and columns with this, this delay event. Simply change the predecessor. Whatever is existing there, don't delete that. Just add one comma after that and put the relationship with the delay fragment. Here we can tell that this foundation and column drawing has been delayed until 2nd January of 23. So we can just put the task number there and hit enter. And you will see there is an impact on the start and finish dates for all the tasks that are related with this task. So this is the procedure by which you can insert one delay fragment in your baseline schedule and make it the impacted schedule. Let us see another example. The third delay event is the sample approval of electrical conduits. Although you can see here that there is no direct task for electrical conduit and you have to search for the related task that can be impacted for this delay. And here we find task of electrical conduiting in slug. So just before the task, we will insert another task and paste the delay event here. Give the color that we are giving to all the delay events and put the number as per your delay register. It existed from 1st January 23 to 1st February 23. So just change the start date. At 1st January 23 to 1st February 23. Now you need to link this delay fragment with the impacted task, which is the next task 
that which is uh, electrical conduiting in slab just edit that and without deleting the existing predecessor just put that delay event task number that is 42 and hit enter now here is one thing you have to apply your knowledge in construction for this type of linking because practically after the sample approval of electrical conduits it will take considerable time to mobilize that electrical conduit to site and then perform the electrical conduiting work immediately after the sample approval you cannot perform the electrical conduiting so for that you need to provide some time for the purchase etc just provide some time for that say 15 days so it will be 42 fs plus 15 and hit enter but here also msp has auto calculated the duration so you can just uh, put 34 you should keep in mind that one delay fragment can be related to multiple tasks that is one delay event can impact multiple tasks not just one task so if there are other buildings and the same electrical conduit would have to be used for those buildings as well so this sample approval of electrical conduits would have impacted those tasks also next there is a delay event called cyclonic storm disrupting entire site affecting all the activities including traffics for four days this has happened which has impacted the entire site so this will be included in the calendar so we'll once again go to project tab and from there click on change working time and here we will insert this delay event cyclonic weather and this has existed from 11 january 23 to 14 january 23 so 11 january 23 to 14th january 23 just hit enter and click on ok and the last delay event is the changes in the drawings of ground floor slab here is the ground floor slab rcc task so this is the impacted task for this delay event we will insert one task to create the delay fragment before that and we'll copy the description we'll go here put the delay event number five change the color as a good practice and then change the dates 4th february 23 so this is 4th february 23 okay so let us confirm the duration as one just edit the relationship of the impacted task put one comma and uh, you have to think practically whether uh, immediately the ground floor slab rcc can be done after completion of this delay event that is the changes in the drawing of the ground floor slab okay let us give one day to that the delay fragment task number is 45 so we will put 45 fps plus one and hit enter but there may be or may not be the impact uh, on the duration because if the task is already being delayed by some other task or its predecessor then there may not be any visible change in the duration but you have to enter all the delay events as the delay fragment in the baseline schedule to make the impacted schedule correctly so we have already inserted all the five delay events in the baseline schedule there are three delay fragments created here which has impacted one or more tasks and we have also modified the calendar with the delay events that has impacted the site as a whole in its entirety so this is the procedure of time impact analysis and from this analysis what we find is that the finish date has been moved to 13th March 2023 where the baseline finish date was 3rd March 23. So there is a 10 days delay due to the delay events that has been recorded in our delay register. So for this 10 days delay we can claim for an extension of time from client since as a contractor company we don't have a direct control on any of these delay events. 
So this is the basic procedure of the time impact analysis. This is basically an analysis how far your schedule will go if there is a delay that is not caused by the contractor himself. If you have any question on that, please ask in the comment box. Thanks for watching. We'll catch up in the next video.